enjoy cooking, and after designing, it is my second passion. If you're like me, when you spend time in the kitchen, you want it to be up to date and organized. Hello, I'm Linda Brechtel of Signature Interiors. Today, I want to give you tips on how to design your kitchen to complement your cooking style. Whether you're a professional or a novice, there are tips you can learn that are necessary when designing your dream kitchen. You want to make cooking an enjoyable experience. And to do so, your kitchen should be well-equipped, organized, and easy to maneuver. One of the most important things to remember when designing your kitchen is maximizing the space you have to work with within your kitchen to accommodate all of your cooking tools. You must also have a space to store all of the items you're going to use. Keeping them organized is key. A large pantry space is essential for that. One of the most valuable spaces of a new kitchen is a center island with plenty of storage for pots and pans, mixing bowls, and other tools you will need. A large countertop workspace provides plenty of room to prepare food and makes cooking so much easier. The kitchen is the heart of the home. It is the place where everyone comes to gather for family meals and entertaining. The center island has a multi-purpose. It is not only utilized for cooking and preparation, but is equally used as a buffet space for serving and entertaining when family and friends come together. And if you love to bake, we need to incorporate that space into your design. An organized station in your kitchen makes the work environment much easier to access. Selecting state-of-the-art appliances is essential to a modern kitchen. Your interior designer will help you decide on which of the most innovative appliances are right for you. Regardless of your style, whether it is traditional or contemporary, the function and organization of your kitchen remains the same. Your designer should be able to create your design style with the latest cabinetry, hardware, and countertop designs to achieve your desired look. You can still have modern appliances while your custom design features will ensure that your kitchen reflects the design style of your choice. Keep these details in mind when you design a new kitchen. My passion for cooking and entertaining has led me to write and publish my own cookbook. My Sicilian Kitchen is the go-to book in our family for Southern Italian cooking, and the recipes have been passed on for generations. I leave it on display in my kitchen to share with family and friends. Kitchens are my specialty. If you are considering a kitchen remodel project, give me a call to schedule your consultation for your dream kitchen. Join me next week for more interior design tips because after all, you've got to love it. And now, helpful tips on landscaping. Wash, finish, and everything, okay? Okay, no okay good, all right, okay. thank you. I'm landscape architect Mitch Kalaman, also owner of Selena Landscape. Curb appeal is huge in raising the value of your property. It's important also when you're doing a backyard remodel like this that you hire a licensed, bonded, and insured professional. More so than that, you've got to hire somebody that's got years of experience and understands how to, how to conquer the hurdles when they come up. In a backyard remodel like this, it sometimes can be a can of worms and you want to make sure that you're dealing with somebody that knows, that's seen those problems before and knows how to handle them. 
Preparation is key in having a successful concrete pour. Not only do we lay down a road base and compact that, which you can see behind us, it's gravel and sand mixed together that's compacted very, very tight and it's almost as hard as concrete, but we also wet it down before our pour. This will keep all of the moisture from being sucked out of the concrete once we pour it. We don't want that because a lot of times what you find is that concrete cracks very easily if all the moisture comes out of it very fast. So by wetting down the base and, uh, and preparing the area very nicely, you'll have a successful concrete pour. Pool remodels are a lot of fun. We have the opportunity to take a pool and change it from that 1960s kidney-shaped pool to something a little more contemporary, like with this concrete coping. We've poured this concrete coping in place. You can see we've, we have a board here that's going to be removed, which allows the coping to be cantilevered, which is hanging over. And we've also washed, done a wash finish on the texture here, uh, which is very, very nice and clean and very uniform and very contemporary. So as we've been talking about, giving the house curb appeal is huge. We've taken this 1960s backyard, pretty much gutted it, come up with a new design and really streamlined it and made it feel like something that's up to date. Doing those things, smart design, using up to date materials and more contemporary materials will really kind of give you the vibe that you want, update the house and give it a more contemporary feel. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned next week when I give you some tips on how to really give your house curb appeal with a new lawn that'll really make your house inviting and flowers that make it pop. Remax donated over $100 million to Children's Miracle Network. We support local charities. Please refer to our Facebook page under the Events tab for more information on upcoming events. Here is our month's charity calendar. of America are celebrating their 100 year anniversary and I'm thrilled to be co-chairing the celebration of this special event in Orange County. Please join me on Friday, October 26th at the Island Hotel in supporting the 2012 Celebrate Leadership Gala. This exciting dinner and auction will raise vitally important charitable support for over 23,000 Orange County Girl Scouts and more than 9,000 volunteers who guide them. You can buy tickets, tables, sponsorships, even donate auction items to this very worthy cause. Please come together to make this the most successful year ever. Superb estate and guard gated cypress shores with captivating panoramic ocean views and private beach. On the ocean side of Highway 1 in a cul-de-sac on a single loaded street. Magnificent Mediterranean design property with courtyard and a dramatic formal entry accented with a custom beveled glass door. Beautiful hardwood floors with the extensive use of skylights, recessed lighting, crown molding throughout with built-in cabinets providing ample storage. Next to the spacious formal dining room, the kitchen has custom cabinetry, solid built-ins, gorgeous granite counters, and a center island and more. Wraparound balcony on main floor, a divine space to hear the waves, feel the ocean breeze, and admire the OC coast. A huge picturesque windows with mitered glass corners showcasing the coastal views. Ocean views from many spacious balconies with areas for alfresco dining. Reverse floor plan with a master suite on main level and fireplace with jet tub and master bath and ocean views. Private courtyard with French doors. Residents enjoy numerous amenities including a community private beach with volleyball courts, oceanfront park with koi pond, oceanfront garden, barbecues, pool, spa, clubhouse, Walk to the greatest surfing beaches in California. Ocean views from the den with cozy fireplace, family room, secondary bedrooms, office, bonus room with large wet bar, kitchenette, optimal storage, and access to the backyard. Call your agent today to schedule your private show.
Now let's welcome John Davis from iMortgage for this week's Mortgage Minute. Well, thank you, Leanne. This is a wonderful home, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk about the best way to go about preparing to make an offer on a luxury property such as this. Well, I always encourage clients to get qualified for their financing before making an offer. Which is great advice for all prospective buyers. However, it's especially true in the luxury market since there are many factors in determining the best strategy in structuring the purchase financing. Clients interested in owning beautiful homes like this should make sure that their purchase and financing plan meshes with their other financial goals. Oh. So you're talking about coordinating with the client's tax and financial advisors? Exactly. How you structure your purchase offer and the financing will have an impact on your tax and investment strategies. Working together as a team, realtor, lender, and your investment professionals, that's the best way to ensure that we are maximizing the benefits of the purchase. That sounds like great advice, John. Well, thank you, and you're welcome, Leanne. I'm John Davis with iMortgage, and this has been the Mortgage Minute. Located in Laguna Niguel, this beautiful Mediterranean executive estate has a finished three-car garage, lush landscaping with a koi pond, and ornately gated courtyard opening into a spacious living area with a cozy fireplace. Graceful contemporary finishes and sculptural shapes lend to a modern and bright environment with extra space. A stately dining area which flows effortlessly into a bright and spacious gourmet kitchen. Sprawling granite countertops adjoin a center island in abundance of covered space and modern appliances. A delightful outdoor custom pool, spa, fire pit, covered patio are located right off the main living area and nestled into an inviting motif set into a spacious brick flagstone patio right outside the French doors. Scrolling staircase banisters arch across a vaulted ceiling toward the upstairs living area with generous sized secondary bedrooms and warm yet modern bathrooms, including custom details in travertine and a unique glass sink. Double doors open to the remarkable master suite with inspiring views, luxurious retreat with fireplace in the bonus room, spacious walk-in closet, and stone accents in the sprawling master bath with double sinks and large bathtub. Enjoy expansive views from the balcony of this four-bedroom, three-bath home. Call your real estate agent today to get a private showing at 949 2492424. There are four common ways of holding title to real property. They include tenancy in common, joint tenancy, community property, and community property with a right of survivorship. The first type of ownership, tenancy in common. This can be any number of persons with equal right of possession. The second type, joint tenancy can be any number of persons with equal right of possession. The third type of ownership is community property. This is only between husband and wife. And lastly, community property with the right of survivorship. Only husband and wife are owners. Ownership interests are equal. Title to the property is similar to title in being in partnership. Both co-owners must join in conveyance of the real property. Separate interests cannot be conveyed. Hi, I'm Crystal Lee Canada. You're going to love the open houses we have in store for you this weekend. And here they are. 